I'm gonna give you a full tour of the beautiful Celebrity Reflection. I'm gonna start here on the beautiful third deck and work our way up to the top. Here on the third deck, we have Lumine, and then we have the Shore Excursions desk. So if you need to help with a shore excursion or plans, you can go there. And then also here is a little map of the third deck showing everything. Oh, well, it's actually the whole ship and then of course the third deck down here. Then also on the third deck, we have the passport bar. We have beautiful windows with views outside. And also it's a very nice bar and they do serve coffee drinks here depending on your drink package as well as a full service bar. This is the grand foyer or foyer depending on your preference. And they do have live music here, sometimes during the day, sometimes in the evening and dancing, like ballroom type dancing right here. And there's some nice comfortable seating here for the bar. In that direction, you have staterooms. And then over on this side, you've got guest relations desk. And so this is great if you need help with pretty much anything on your trip, just head over here to guest relations. Each floor has at least one bank of elevators, but there's also a bank of elevators that's forward on the ship as well. And last but not least on this deck is the Opus dining room. Now this is the lower entrance. There's also an upper entrance. If you have select dining, that's on the upper side. We'll show you that in a minute. And if you have assigned times, it's down here. Coming up to deck four, as I mentioned, we'll start right here. Opus main dining room has two entrances, one on each side, and this is for the select dining on this floor. Also, we have the martini bar. This is a super popular location. They do have player bartending. It's not open right now, but when it is, the bar is covered with ice. So it's a very, very cool bar. Lots of fun to hang out at. And also you get a good view of the Grand Foyer or Foyer. So if you want to watch the music from up here, it's a very, very good location and a fun place to hang out in the evening. They also do have special tasting events right over here. Now we're moving into the shopping district. They have a lot of stores here and there's also some stores on the next floor. Also, this is the floor for the casino. They do not allow filming inside of the casino. I'll try to get a couple of shots here but they don't want you to film while you know, you're fully inside. And they also do have a bar at the casino as well. well. Lots of shops, got some sales going on today. Lots of different places to buy uh, gifts for to take home with you. They also do have an art gallery and they have special events for that as well. And they do have a liquor store here on the ship. Here's more of the art. So lots of art to look at if you're interested in that. Here's the future cruise vacations location. So if you want to book your next cruise before you get off the ship, they do offer packages and specials for that. And here is the main theater, the Reflection Theater. Uh, this is where all your main evening shows will be, but they also have shows during the day as well, just like they do today. The show has not started yet, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what the theater looks like. So this is the lower level, but there's also an entrance on the next deck up as well. I just came out of the other side of the theater and wanted to show you here's where the other bank of elevators and stairs are located. Now we're coming up to Celebrity Central. I think they are having a program, so I'm not gonna go inside because I don't wanna interrupt it. But it is right back there, which it's another smaller theater and entertainment venue, um, much more intimate than the large theater. And this bar is only open at certain hours. It seems to be when they're having shows in the evening in the main theater. There's the other side of the casino, so I just walked around it. Here's Cellar Masters, and this is a bar that you can come into 
and they will basically come in and take your order but as you can see there's no actual bar it's kind of unusual um, but it, we've seen people get served in here so you seem to just sit down and they come and take your order we have not sat here ourselves so if I've got that wrong and it's different, please leave me a comment below and let other viewers know that that's the best we could ascertain. <laughs> it's kind of an unusual setup. And that's different on some of the other ships that are the same class. On the Equinox, they have the craft social, sort of a craft beer and whiskey place there. So here's the other side of the main dining room and that wraps up deck four. Let's head up to deck five. On deck five, we have the ensemble lounge. And in addition to this lounge, this is also where you go to get to most of the specialty dining, although not all of it. There are two that are up on one of the top decks, and I'll show you those when we get to that deck. The Ensemble Lounge is open a little bit later in the day, and it is a full-service bar. And I do believe they occasionally have music in here as well. So as you can see, there's entrances to different... There's Michael's Club, which is members only. They also have Murano, which is the Italian style upcharge restaurant specialty dining so yeah here you can see where they have the music in the evenings and then back here are the entrances to cuisine the tuscan grill and blue two of those are specialty dining and one of those is for i believe it's the aqua spa class suites or it's not suites but rooms over here is the entrance to Cuisine, which is really neat. They project onto your plate like different graphics. So it's a pretty cool experience. Here's the entrance to Blue. Get a little glimpse in there. And then here we are at the Tuscan Grill. Beautiful, like this entrance a lot. Also on deck five, You'll find the, I guess, lifeboats, I guess they're called. And uh, also one side of deck five outside is non-smoking. The other side is smoking. So definitely check on that if you either want to stay away from the smoke or you want to smoke. Um, that's good to know. It's a place to go outside that's on a lower deck because most of the smoking sections are on the upper deck. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything new. We're heading into their coffee shop and they also have a gelato shop right over here, the gelateria, and then Cafe El Bacchio, which is this cafe straight ahead here. And well, they're having a good time in here this morning. <laughs> oh, there's our cruise director, that's why. <laughs> Oh, and our captain too. That was our cruise director and captain. So here you can see the actual coffee bar. You can get specialty coffee drinks. If you have a certain drink package or you can pay a la carte. They also have treats. And I will mention since I'm gluten free myself, they do always have at least one gluten free treat. They have lots and lots of treats. And these are not extra charged either. You don't need a package to get those, the treats. Now up here is some more of the sort of higher end, if you would, shopping. The more expensive shopping is another way to look at it. And then also we've got the world-class bar here. And as you can see, there's several tables and sometimes they do have live music right over here. So let's take a look at some of the shops. We've got the Artisan Studio here. Like I said, lots and lots of high-end stuff. Pieces of Time. These are all things out of Carmen's price point. <laughs> I am not, not into expensive items. Um, rather spend the money traveling just me everyone has their own preferences and then across is the photo gallery that is another location that you're not allowed to film for they don't want you filming your own photos we don't get photos taken but in any case can't film over there but just to show you where it's located and then here's the second entrance i mentioned to the reflection theater i'm not going to talk when i go in there because there's a presentation now 
but I will give you a, a shot of the theater from this level. Now I've come back around closer to where we started on this deck and Sushi on 5, name is appropriate. It is a specialty dining restaurant and they have yummy sushi and right now they're actually having a demonstration type class but they also have the specialty dining right here on deck 5 if you enjoy sushi. Quick show of the layout of deck 5. And that will wrap up deck five. Let's head to deck six. Now up to deck six, and it's mostly staterooms on deck six. The only thing they have is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. So let's go take a peek at that. This is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. So you can come in here for all of your Apple or iPhone, iPad needs. If you're wondering why I skipped deck eight, it's 100% staterooms. So we're now up on deck nine. They do have one item besides state rooms on deck nine. On deck nine, the only thing besides state rooms is the game on game room. They have electronic games built into some of the tables and then they have standard tables and they do have puzzles and games you can play or you can bring your own with you. If you're enjoying this video, we do have an entire series on the first sailing of the Celebrity Reflection after the shutdown. So definitely check below for a link to that or subscribe so you won't miss any new videos that come out. They may not all be out by this point. As you saw, we're on deck 10 now and deck 10 has the library, which is also right off the main central area on the ship. So I'll show you that. It's a nice quiet place to read. They do have books you can borrow here and I don't want to disturb the people reading. So I'm going to talk softly, but it's a lovely area. And as you can see, it's open with skylights, really nice. Now we're up to deck 11. Let's take a look. Now we're starting to get up to this main area where it's so pretty. But on deck 11, there are only state rooms. So we're going to head on up to deck 12. Now we're up to deck 12. They've got future cruise cells. So we'll take a look at that. And also the aqua spa and the fitness center as well as state rooms. So here's the future cruise planning center. Now let's take a walk to the front of the ship forward to see the aqua spa. So I know this is going to be a little hard to see from this angle, but this is the entrance to the aqua spa. I don't want to go in since I am not actually partaking of the services, but this is where it's located on deck 12. Next is the fitness center. There's a lot of nice things. And also here's the Medi Spa clinic. There are a lot of nice equipment here in the fitness center. Here's a spin classroom. yoga and stretching room. Here in the fitness center, they have literally all kinds of equipment and it's all facing out here to see, get great views, get a great workout in while you get to enjoy this beautiful forward view of the ship. And they do have a section here where you can go outside. I'll take you out there in just a minute. They also do have full weight equipment as well as free weights. Here's their free weight area with weight benches and some of their other equipment. And then let's go out to the front. We are moving at a high rate of speed, so this is gonna be windy. <laughs> he said we're moving at 20 knots. So you have this gorgeous view with these loungers. And this is like one of those best kept secret kind of things because unless you use the fitness center, you don't know this is here. And even if you don't use the fitness center, you can come out here and it's like totally private. I almost never see someone here. So this is a great spot. So you can see the front of the ship. So we're heading out into the open sea. So this time I came up the stairs and as you might imagine, there's no deck 13. So now we're on deck 14, which is technically really deck 13. And we're, this time we're forward on the ship. Here's the sky observation lounge. I won't be able to talk because there's something going on inside, but I'm going to give you a quick tour. They're having, a, I think trivia right now. You have these beautiful forward views on the ship. It's gorgeous. So during the day they have things like this. I think it's maybe trivia going on. And at night it's more of like a bar and sometimes they have live music. So there's a lot going on here. Here's the bar. It's a really big bar. But this is just a gorgeous spot on the ship and it's a great way to look at the world go by 
without being outside if it's either hot or cold or <laughs> for whatever reason you don't want to be outside too windy it's just a, a gorgeous venue next we're moving into the solarium it is a beautiful adult only area and they have this really lovely pool it's a relaxing pool they have two hot tubs or jacuzzis and they're right at the edge of the ship so you get this great view and then also in here is the aqua spa cafe and despite its name you do not need to be a spa customer the food is mostly included i think they have some smoothies that you might pay extra for but otherwise the food is included they have very specific hours though they're open for a short breakfast and a short lunch but these labels will give you some idea and i may have some other footage of this i can put in here to give you an idea of what kind of food and again as a gluten-free person i can tell you they do have gluten-free options here um, like more than usual so it's a good place to come for that another view of the solarium and it's at what i would call semi-open air there's some windows that they can open or close depending on the weather so it's a nice area it's sort of like gets a solar heat but they keep it climate controlled so it never gets too hot in here there's really relaxing spa like music and also sort of an essential oil kind of a smell and i mean you can't beat sitting in a jacuzzi with that view i have used those before and they're just lovely especially at night they're really nice at night very peaceful i will say i mentioned it's adults only but there are not a lot of children on celebrity cruises in our experience we have been on several now and we never do see a whole lot of children uh, so even at the main pool you're not going to see a whole lot of children there as well so now we're headed out on the lido deck to the main pool area and that's another thing this cruise is not at capacity but even when they are close to capacity there always seem to be plenty of loungers maybe not right against the pool but at least around the pool so you've got four jacuzzis or hot tubs i'll show those from the next deck up to get a better view as well as two pools then right behind me is the pool bar this is a great location uh it's right here at the pool it's full service bar hi good morning and so it's a great location to come and grab a drink also as we go up here to the front of the pool deck there's also a entertainment area where they have live music they also sometimes have uh, games like cornhole or dancing classes dancing competition type games they have all kinds of stuff it's a lot of fun so those happen right up there well you can even see the cornhole uh right in this area right here next we will head back indoors and we actually like some of these loungers off to the side it's kind of a nice again place to watch the ocean go by and we also like the next deck up as well next on this deck is the ocean view cafe we're between meal times right now they, they pretty much have some limited menu it seems like most of the day um, but they do have prime meal times as well they have ice cream things and in some of our videos of this cruise I mentioned we have a whole set of videos from this cruise I do show an example of the breakfast buffet and the lunch buffet uh, I don't remember which days those are on hopefully you'll be happy to watch the whole playlist I hope you enjoy it so uh, that will give you a better idea of what kind of food is on the buffet so like here's a perfect example this is between meals but they still got some snacks out right now and looks like even some hot food actually let's go by the hot food so you can see a little bit of it right now but just keep in mind this is not a full service right now you can tell they have it ripped off okay so it's like a late breakfast a small breakfast right now so yeah it's nice lots of different options salads and as you can see lovely tons of lovely seating and I'm going to show you some outdoor seating that they have at the very back of the ship which is it's our favorite place to sit we love it um, it's always nice out there and since you're aft you don't have strong wind also they do have self-service drink stations and as of right now the buffet they serve you rather than you serving yourself 
but there's drinks you can get drinks for yourself at least i believe you can and also here and that's also the time of this recording that will change over time is what we love we love this area i'll come out here and pan backwards but this is what we're here for is this view this is just the best view spectacular but here's what it looks like it's a great seating area a lot of it's shaded And then we can head up to the next deck right now. I just popped up on deck 15 and this is the sunset bar. It is beautiful. It is a gorgeous view. And also this is one of the allowed smoking areas. I'm gonna show you the green lawn. This is actually real grass and there was events going on on it today. So over on this side, you have some putting area. And then let's go look at the other area. But look at this, look at this view, it is beautiful. Over on the other side here, they're having a Officers versus guests bocce ball. And again, this is real grass up here on this lawn, which is really cool. And then up ahead is the actual lawn that's just open area. And they show movies out here. And then these areas right here are an upcharge, these cabanas. And then this is a specialty dining restaurant called the Lawn Club Grill. So again, that's an upcharge. And uh, I'll go around and show you the entrance to that. But here's where they show the movies. So you can come out here and sit on the real grass and enjoy a movie. And so let's go look and see. So the entrance I think is right over here where he is standing. However, it's closed off right now just because it's not open. But they do have, as you would imagine, grilled food. I think it's primarily burgers at lunch and then they have other grilled items at dinner. Now we're up to another specialty dining. This is the porch and they specialize in seafood. And so you again have this little, lovely semi-open air, like it's open right here. They do have partitions to kind of block the wind so you don't get blown away while you're eating. Really, really nice. And now we're coming back up right above the Lido deck. And so this is another favorite place of ours to hang out on the ship. It's a great place. You can almost always find shade on one side or the other where the central parts are or towards the front of the ship, which I'll show that later when we get up there. They do have the running, walking track and I use this every morning. I love it. And here's the mileage if you're interested. And that's been great. That's been great to use. And so here's that better view panning of the Lido deck. You can see the four hot tubs. You can see there's some cornhole going on and you can see the pools and the pool bar in the distance. And then let's go take a look at the food and bar options that are on this deck on deck 15. Coming up here is the mass bar and this is another designated smoking area. It is a full service bar and it's a great location to grab a drink and then go get in some shady chairs that I mentioned before. Usually one side or the other is shady. And then let's cross over to the other side so I can show you the mass grill. So here's the mass bar. And then the mass grill is primarily burgers. And that food is included. That is not specialty dining. Here's the mass grill. And so they have burger, veggie burger, turkey burger, french fries, beef burger, and hot dog. And so that's an option as well. And you can eat out here. They've got some little tables. So that's really nice. And then of course, we've got to come up here to the front to the bow of the ship. I will mention a couple things I'm not showing. I'm not showing the kids areas. We haven't used those, of course. We do not have kids and uh, we, don't, we haven't been in them. So I don't want to go in while there's children in there. There's, I just don't feel like that's appropriate to film someone else's kids. So we're not going to show those. And they are up here on the upper deck. And also the solstice deck here is one deck up. That is for sweet guests. And I think other uh, special guests, <laughs> uh, not me. <laughs> so we won't be going up there because you do have to be a, a special kind of guest. But some of these areas right here are the kids areas that are behind this, the, these windows here. And then of course we have to show, unless you're a solstice guest, this uh, amazing top view. This will be the top for most people of the ship. It's so beautiful. Also the basketball courts are up here as well. 
Here's the basketball court. And this beautiful view. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.